what you do for us, for the, Jesus, for the price that you paid for us. We just come before the throne of grace and mercy. We receive it from you every day, and we thank you for the covering of your Holy Spirit that keeps us and breaks us through whatever may come our way. We love you and praise your holy name. Amen. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, Palm Sunday. Yesterday was Palm Sunday. And this week, I'm sure there are people who are busy with going on spring break, so buying clothes and making Easter baskets. And, uh, and this is not bad. But I hope that people, all of us, including myself, will think about Jesus at this point of Jesus' life. He had many things on his mind. And he took time to bring his disciples aside and talk to them. This is Luke 18, 31 to 34. Then he took the twelve aside and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man will be accomplished. For he will be delivered to the Gentiles, and will be mocked and insulted, and spit upon. They will scourge him and kill him. The third day he will rise again. But they understood none of these things. This saying was hidden from them, and they did not know the things which were spoken. They didn't comprehend what Jesus was telling them. But he knew this will be, oh, this word will help them when they go through after the crucifixion. They will remember it. But he had to prepare them. He had to fulfill the, what the prophets prophesied. He had to tell them. But they didn't comprehend it. They didn't understand how could these things be. Jesus has tried to prepare them for what's ahead for them, but he also sees this triumphant entry that he will go through to Jerusalem. John 12, 12 through 16. The next day, a great multitude that had come to the feast when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. These people, there were a group of people, Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead, and they were there and saw it. So they were following Jesus. They heard Jesus was going to Jerusalem with other people also. So they were got, coming to follow him. They took branches and palm trees and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, Hosanna. But you know the same people who are caught at this point crying, Hosanna, Hosanna, will be part of the people who will crucify. Jesus knows this, but he loves them. He loves us. It says, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Then Jesus, when he had found a young donkey, sat on it, as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, they then remembered that these things were written about it and that they had done these things to him. In other scriptures, uh, it tells about how Jesus sent the disciples to go get the colt. Luke 19, 36 through 42. 
And as he went, Minnie's brother clothed on the road. Then, as he was now drawing near the descent of Mount Olive, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice. They began to get feel what's going on. In uh, John it says, Hosanna, Hosanna. And then here uh, Luke is saying, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. And some of the Pharisees called to him from the crowd, Rebuke your dis disciples. They didn't, they didn't think it was right for them to be saying, Hosanna, Hosanna, glory to God in the highest. And it bothered them. So they're yelling out, Jesus, stop your disciples. This is a perfect. But he answered them and said, I tell you that if these should keep silent, the stones would immediately cry out. If we don't learn to praise the Lord and thank Him for everything He does for us and glorify His name through everything we do and even be able to say, Praise you, Jesus, wonderful Lord and Savior. He said the rocks are going to cry out if they don't obey and do what, what the Spirit is moving up on them, do, on them to do. They didn't just do this because they wanted to or because they pretended to do, or because it's some kind of form. No, it flowed out from the Spirit. It was came from God. He said, if these people didn't obey the Spirit, the flowing of the Spirit, that those rocks would have been it. The rocks would have, and I believe Jesus, those rocks would have began to cry, glory to God, Hosanna in the highest. Thank you, Jesus. Now, as he drew near, he saw the city. When Jesus saw the city, he wept, saying, if you had even you, especially in this your time, in this your day, the things that make for your peace, but now they are hidden from you. The Pharisees did not recognize that this was for their peace. This is for them. But they didn't recognize it. They did not see the time of their blessing. And so it became, they became blind. They couldn't see it. And so the blessings of God were hidden from them. In John 13, 1. Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart from the world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. He looked forward to the time. His eyes were like a flint for Jerusalem. Nothing could have stopped him and held him back. And because of his, the zeal of the Lord should perform it. He wasn't going to let it fall or fail. But it was going to, he set his eyes towards the goal. He knew what was going to happen. He said, in the Garden of Gethsemane, not my will, but thine be done. If it's possible, let this cup pass by me. But he said, not my will, but thine be done. And he continued to set his eyes towards not just Jerusalem, but towards the cross. He made up his mind. Now today, we have to set our eyes towards Christ and what he wants of our lives and to glorify him like they did on Palm Sunday. Some people don't even mention that glorious 
triumphant entry into Jerusalem by Jesus. But we need to realize, we need to give him glory, we need to give him praise for all the great things he did for us. And press in to what he has for us. Lord bless me. Good night.